All righty, Maxine in hot water. That story tops tonight's two-minute drill here. To weigh in is our panel. Welcome back, Fox News political analyst Angela McGowan, Lindsay Piegza of FTN, my buddy out there in hot Arizona, Christian Vance of TalentedBlonde.com. Let's start the clock. Ready to rumble. The pressure mounts on Congressman Maxine Waters today. The House Ethics Committee now formally accusing the California Dem of three counts of alleged ethics violations. The main charge, she uh, requested federal help for a bank where her husband owned stock and had served on its board of directors. Waters has denied any wrongdoing and is pushing for a trial before the November midterms. Now, can Democrats expect these charges to hurt them? You are the political strategist here, Angela. I mean, why wouldn't she settle and get out of the way like uh, Charlie Rangel? She should settle and get out of the way because at the end of the day, with Maxine being on the Judiciary Committee, it's very, very sad. Uh, and you know what else? For Al Sharpton to go to the airwaves and say that this is a war against black members of Congress, they did something wrong. The Ethics Committee wants to have a large investigation and a trial on it. And Maxine should save herself, cut a deal, and yeah. move on. That would help the Democrats, but I'm hopeful that they'll have trials on both of them. Kristen, if you were going to, uh, you know, you're an analyst, so if you're going to analyze this situation, isn't this the time to cut and run part of a uh, strategy? <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely short this stock, as it were. <laughs> yes. um, but, you know, aside from being political or racial, I mean, sure. she should really be charged with just being, you know, stupid. I mean, this is the person that's on the, you know, House Financial Services Committee and is asking Ben Bernanke what the Fed funds rate is. Yeah, that was so, a little... you know, aside... Yeah, that was a little scary. Exactly. Lindsay, uh, we were uh, all, always shocked at Maxine when she would talk to the Fed. I know as an economist, <laughs> you laughed a few times as I did. <laughs> Certainly, but what this comes down to yeah. is I'm really appalled the way she's handling it. She was caught red-handed. This was clear abuse of her power, and she's still trying to deny it. At this point, what we want is an apology, and maybe the Democrats would be able to recover from this. Well, denial is not a river in Egypt, ladies and gentlemen. All right, continue. <laughs> HP CEO Mark Hurd I did not have sexual relations with Jody Fisher, <laughs> but that didn't keep him from being forced out. Fisher, the former reality star who also appeared in one racy film, Skin of Max, uh, filed harassment charges against <laughs> HP and let her go uh, from her event planning job. Now, HP's board found her had fudged expense reports and failed to disclose a close personal relationship with uh, Fisher. The company's shares, losing 7%, about $10 billion. Uh, Kristen, this is Kristen. This is up your uh, alley, Kristen. $10 billion <laughs> I don't know was what she you worth it? Possibly mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey. Don't pay for event planning on the company credit card. That's all I have to say, Tobin. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I'm just thinking maybe, uh, uh, Angela, that, uh, you know, this is an overreaction. Like, okay, uh, you know, he didn't break these ethics rules, but you're shaking your head. When will men learn? When will they learn? You cannot play where you work. You can't do all of this. Go take it out somewhere else if you have to. Because at the end of the day, it's going to impact your life, right. your family life, and your business, and the stock. All right. Lindsay, well, help look, me out of this hole I just dug myself. Eventually, <laughs> it, it came down to saying, look, it wasn't sexual harassment. It was just a malintent or, or bad actions, hmm. basically. Hmm. But what was interesting here is that the board was actually split on their decision whether or not to have him hit the road. A lot of people went back to his record saying, look, five years yeah. of bringing this company Stocks into Stocks up 140%. Growth. And you also, know what? all of those deals that he went through. But you're in the business of judgment as a CEO, and that type of judgment, you know, is one way you risk yep. it. And, and uh, you know, Kristen, I'm with you on this one. All right. We may have found the He's best out. example of failing forward. Isaiah Thomas, the man who almost single-handedly destroyed the New York Knicks and stage manager's life here. I mean... He's been unbelievably rehired as a consultant to the Knicks, and there's speculation that he's the team's general manager in waiting. Kristen, are you kidding me? Hey, you know, he's the Don Draper of basketball. I bet those <laughs> girls can't wait for the company Christmas party. <laughs> Maybe he'll lose $10 billion in market cap. Uh, Lindsay, uh, you know, I, I'm just always confused by this. D does he have pictures on somebody? I mean, is this like a... Or, John Dolan. Or, you would think so. You would think so. Really, his name's been dragged through the mud, and here he is reappearing. Maybe it's uh, it'll bring some headlines, get some emotion going about the team. Well, I now, don't know. I think it's overall Jim, bad Jim decision. Dolan, you know, I may not be a smart man, but are you telling me that, that you would actually... <laughs> Rehire the guy who single-handedly screwed your team up. You yes. haven't won anything in, I don't know, 
Austin ever? ever? Okay. And then he had He's a sexual got pictures. harassment suit yeah. against him that he had to pay off. I mean, I think he has some pictures. Uh, uh, well, something, the, something's the out there. The fans, Kristen, they got to be totally outraged on it. This is like bringing uh, O.J. Simpson back, you know, to play football for It's like being, bringing Bernie Madoff back to run your broker dealer, Tobin. <laughs> Jaws are hitting the floor all over New York tonight, my friend. Uh, I don't right, know. Right. I think fans have a, a short attention span. Look, we brought Michael Vick back. I, yeah, I, but he's playing in a I, different I city. Well, yeah, he's not going to Atlanta. You still brought him back to the Lakers. I'm sorry. Let me see. Yeah, You're just you dead wrong. Angela, would yeah. you yeah. help her wow. out? You just can't compare yeah. the two. The guy's yeah. wrong, and he has something on someone. He's blackmailing someone. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. I agree. But I, think, I, I, think agree. The, I think the Dolans may be you know, legally incompetent. Maybe we have to take the team back or something like this. Because <laughs> even if I was a Knicks fan, of course, I am a Laker fan. But even if I was a poor Laker, a uh, Nick fan. This has got to be the bonehead move. All right, you all ladies are coming back. I said no guys on the thing tonight. I just want well, I the, the, the smart, hot ones. All right, on deck. The Obama administration selling F-15s to Saudi Arabia with some concessions to Israel, right? But why are we selling fighter jets to a country that funds international terrorism and federal government mandates are hurting the state? Is that statement a buy, sell, or hold? Text your answer to 369249. Come on back with us. We got Lieutenant Peter.